What is the best trumpet mouthpiece you can buy and why? Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and I'm back with another review. You know, I did a pretty phenomenal review on the Bach 3E trumpet mouthpiece as being the best overall mouthpiece. Now, once you've played long enough, at some point you'll not want just an overall mouthpiece. You might want something more specific. You might want a mouthpiece that tends to make you sound better, more, more powerfully in the upper register, or you might want a real deep bathtub of a mouthpiece because you're playing fourth part in a jazz band or a symphony. So it just depends. You're gonna eventually want something more than the best overall mouthpiece. So what is the best absolute trumpet mouthpiece that money can buy you? Bob Reeves mouthpieces. Bob Reeves. Bob Reeves mouthpieces are the best because they allow you and afford you many, many options when it comes to the rim, the bowl, the shank, the back bore, and then even how far it will go into the mouthpiece receiver inside your horn. So there's just a lot of options and variables. It is not inexpensive or cheap by any means, like the Bach 3E mouthpiece is right around a little under $50. The Bob Reeves mouthpieces will probably start start at about 150 bucks and move on up if you get something custom. So I just want to take out a duplicate mouthpiece. Now this is the mouthpiece I play on all the time. It's a Bob Reeves hybrid. I have a backup mouthpiece in case something ever happens to that. And so when you get your Bob Reeves mouthpiece, it'll come in something like this, a blue box. I mentioned Bob Reeves mouthpieces are the best, absolute best trumpet mouthpieces you can get. I mean, name anybody I mean uh, that you can think of that's famous. Doc Severinsen, Bob Reeves tells me about Doc Severinsen coming in and getting his mouthpiece made. Um, uh, the, the guy up at A, I uh, can't think of his last name right now, um, at A&G, uh, Dick Ackroyd. Dick Ackroyd, the doc, um, also went in to his shop and they collaborated on horns, maybe the Bell Canto horn. Um, we're going back of a ways in that conversation, so it might not be entirely accurate. But Bob Reeves has worked on Bud Brisboy's mouthpiece, um, Doc Severinsen, just to name a few. If just about anything Bud you can think of, I believe, has probably gone to Bob Reeves. So let's find out why you would consider a Bob Reeves trumpet mouthpiece when I've already told you in another video the best overall mouthpiece under $50 is the Bach 3E. That is the best overall trumpet mouthpiece. But this is the best mouthpiece, period. Now you're going to spend some money on this, and it won't be an overall all encompassing mouthpiece. You'll probably get more mouthpiece specific. So let me show you why it's the best. Number one, you can have a, an assortment of rims. Check this out. This rim came off a Neil Sanders 17S trumpet mouthpiece. So if you have a favorite rim on another mouthpiece, could be a Claude Gordon bench, could be a Giardinelli, could be a Schilke, could be a Monette, could be whatever. Uh, could be a Bach. If you have a favorite rim, that rim feels good on your lips, but you just don't like how tight or loose the back bore is or the throat or something about the cup, but you like the rim. Now, I love the rim on my 17S Neil Sanders, uh, but it was a little too open and and uh, too deep for some of the things that I wanted to do in the extreme upper register on the trumpet. So I went in with my mouthpiece and Bob cut cut the rim off my other mouthpiece, the Neil Sanders. And as you can see, he put threads on it, threads that would fit his stock mouthpieces and backboards. So here's his stock, uh, what is this, a 42? This is a stock Bob Reeves 42 SV, 42 Sam Victor. And I believe that's a little tighter backboard and throat. And it is a shallower cup, of course, for the kind of stuff you know I do. And I have a, la, 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 a number two sleeve. So you can pull this guy off. It should come off. Look at that. Boom. They're just taking this guy apart. And you'll see. You should be able to see the number two. Okay. Now the, the sleeves, as far as I know, range from zero up to seven or eight. And they allow your trumpet to go further into the horn or further out of the horn, depending on... Um, what you've determined that you like and you can determine that by actually going to Bob Reeves office and playing on a different bunch of different sleeves 
You could also go to Bob Reeves office and play in a bunch of different stock um, uh, main pieces like this. And then you can get all his different rims. Now this is my custom rim, but he has a bunch of stock rims. Are you beginning to see why it's the best? You can actually customize a mouthpiece just for you, for whatever you do. Now mine gives me a bright, powerful sound and it, you can really hear it. If you listen to my most recent thing I did in, in my home studio, the Jetsons, I mean, man, I was blistering away and I was just pumping out some power on some really, really high notes. Uh, my mouthpiece set up here forced me to do that. If I played on probably his largest um, throat and backboard trumpet with, a, with a, a sharp cutting rim, probably would never have been able to do that. So this is a mouthpiece specific adventure. Um, you're gonna be spending the bigger bucks, but you are gonna be getting eventually the best mouthpiece for you. Not an overall mouthpiece, but the best mouthpiece for the specific kind of style of playing that you play in. I'm really happy with this. So happy that I went out and bought uh, a duplicate. This is a duplicate that I don't really use too much. It's just a backup in case something happens to the one in my horn. You can see it's the same. This one does have a number three sleeve on it, but otherwise it's still a 42 SV for the main body of the, of the, the mouthpiece. And then I have the, the hybrid custom rim that I like. So this is a backup for right now, just in case I ever lose that one or becomes damaged and screw it back all together. You can see that when you buy a mouthpiece like this, you aren't stuck. You aren't stuck. Um, if you buy it, it needs a little tweaking or the rim is a little sharp or if it's a little bit too wide or too narrow or the bowl is a little too deep or not deep enough or you play it and you get a little headache or you play it and your all your air goes is just too big for whatever reason or you notice intonation and resistance issues, um, how far the mouthpiece is going in or if it's not going far enough. All those can be accommodated and taken care of by getting the Bob Reeves mouthpiece system just like this. So I'm Kurt Thompson and the, the, the name of this tutorial is what is the best trumpet mouthpiece that money can buy and I told you what it is. It's the Bob Reeves trumpet mouthpiece system. And I told you why it is because you won't be stuck with a mouthpiece you can't use. There are so many options and variables in this. You will find the perfect mouthpiece for you. And I'll put a link down in the description where you can go right away and order a Bob Reeves mouthpiece. And I believe he'll, he'll send out a couple of uh, these back bores and different rims and sleeves based on what you tell them that you like and what kind of playing you do. And then you mix and match and come up with the right mouthpiece and a combination send back what you don't need. So I'm gonna send you a link in the description that you can click on and go right and start ordering some Bob Reeves mouthpiece. It's the best that you can get. I'm Kurt Thompson and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I'm just tickled, ecstatic and happy that I was able to get my best mouthpiece made after all these years and it was made about a good five years ago by Bob Reeves himself. The other gentleman in attendance is a guy named by John Snell. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, John Snell. I know him because his father, Keith, wrote a series of duet books which are just amazing that I've used in many, many lessons. So if Kurt Thompson, you know, if you found this video informative, educational at all, you got something out of it, please go ahead and give a like. In fact, make a comment maybe on the mouthpiece you play and what you'd like to do. And, you know, I'm working for free here, folks, passing all this great information for you. If you have a kind heart and would like to give back, go ahead and click on my Patreon link and um, get involved in supporting videos like this. You get a lot of cool rewards and perks. One perk would be I could feature your channel on this channel right here. Another one would be able to put your name in the credits on a video. How cool would that be? There's just a lot of perks that you might really enjoy. And you can go to patreon.com slash Trump and Sizzle and check out all the different rewards and all the different tiers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's Kurt Thompson, and you're looking at a snapshot of YouTube analytics of one of my best performing videos, MacArthur Park. And look. I've received only $5 in ad revenue from YouTube. Please go over to Patreon, become a supporter, 
support my channel and my work and what I'm doing. I really need your help. Thank you so much. This is Kurt Thompson. Thank <laughs> you.